down the wheel. Down the wheel. Is the side slip. Generally, we're going to have everybody start the side slip on their heel edge first because they're most comfortable with it. But you need to be able to ride on your toe edge as well. The thing about side slipping, anytime you flatten the board out, it's going to slide down the hill. You want to stop, lift that leading edge, the downhill edge, whatever it is. If you're on your toe side, you're going to lift the heels up and stand on your tippy toes to slow yourself down. If you're on your heel edge, you're going to raise your toes and balance on the heels and skid to a stop. When you start side slipping, you're going to notice that one end of the board always wants to go faster than the other. A couple of ways that you can use to keep your board straight is keep this in mind. The heavy end of the board travels down the hill fastest. So if I shift my body weight to my left leg, that end's going to go down the hill faster. If I shift my weight back to my right leg, that end of the board is going to go down the hill faster. Also, coming back to torsional flex like we did with our one-footed glides, if I twist the board so that one foot is flat and the other's lifted, the one that's lifted, like on a uh, heel side, if I lift the toes, that's going to act like a brake and cause the uh, board to, uh, to slow down on that end. So think about that. As you're going on your heel side side slip, whichever foot you raise the toes on, that's going to act like a brake and cause the board to pivot. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and demonstrate do it heel side first of all. Raise my hands to show you what's going on with my feet. Okay, now that we know how to get off the now we're going to start the side slip. Generally, we're going to have everybody start the side slip on their heel edge first because they're most comfortable with it, but you need to be able to ride on your toe edge as well. The thing about side slipping, anytime you flatten the board out, it's going to slide down the hill. You want to stop, lift that leading edge, the downhill edge, whatever it is. If you're on your toe side, you're going to lift the heels up and stand on your tippy toes to slow yourself down. If you're on your heel edge, you're going to raise your toes and balance on the heels and skid to a stop. When you start side slipping, you're going to notice that one end of the board always wants to go faster than the other. A couple of ways that you can use to keep your board straight is keep this in mind. The heavy end of the board travels down the hill fastest. So if I shift my body weight to my left leg, that end's going to go down the hill faster. If I shift my weight back to my right leg, that end of the board is going to go down the hill faster. Also, coming back to torsional flex like we did with our one-footed glides, if I twist the board so that one foot is flat and the other's lifted, the one that's lifted, like on a uh, heel side, if I lift the toes, that's going to act like a brake and cause the uh, board to, uh, to slow down on that end. So think about that. As you're going on your heel side side slip, whichever foot you raise the toes on, that's going to act like a brake and cause the board to pivot. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and demonstrate. I'm going to do it heel side first of all. Raise my hands to show you what's going on with my feet. There. Okay, next we're going to do a toe side. Really want from the very start of your snowboarding, you really want to start riding as much on your toe edge as your heel edge. You don't want to be one of those people that rides the whole mountain never getting off your heel edge. So from day one, practice as much on your toe edge as you do your heel edge. So with that, we're going to go ahead and do a toe side side slip. Now what's important is anytime you're sliding backwards, you know, keep those knees bent, make sure you keep those heels lifted up so you don't catch that downhill edge. Same thing's going to apply. If I push this toe in, it's going to drag and cause the board to pivot.
if I push this toe down, it's going to act like a brake. Same thing with the weight distribution. If I shift my weight this way, this end of the board goes down the hill. If I shift my weight this end of the board goes downhill. One thing when you're side slipping to think about, make small corrections sooner rather than big corrections later. So as soon as you feel your board starting to pivot on you, start getting it back under control. It's going to make your life a whole lot easier. So here goes a toe side side slip. Okay, now I push this toe down, okay, and I'll push this toe down, push this toe down. Okay, now for the weight distribution. Next uh, thing we're going to do is what's called the falling leaf or a linked traverse. This is a thing where you're staying on one edge, but instead of just side slipping down the mountain, which you really should avoid most of the time because all it does is makes the runs icy. If you get yourself in a situation that's a little too steep for you to handle, do some linked traverses rather than just side slip all the way down the mountain. For two reasons. One, it really turns the runs into ice, and two, you look like a total gaper if all you're doing is side slipping your way down a black diamond run. If you get into a situation where it's too much for you, do some link traverses. It's better, better form, better for the runs, everything. Again, using some torsional flex, if I'm on my toe side, I'm going to do a falling leaf link traverse on my toe side. If I, uh, whatever foot is leading the way, I'm going to initiate my turn. I'm going to steer with that foot. So if I want to turn up the hill when I'm toe side, I'm going to push down on that toe and it's going to cause the board to kind of turn up the hill. Another thing when you're doing link traverses, to make it better, focus on something off the trail. Just like when you're driving your car, you don't look two feet in front of the hood, you look down the road more. So focus on something like a tree or any object, steer towards it. It's going to make it a lot more fluid, a lot more easy for you. So with that, I'm going to start. I'm going to flatten this foot out to get my board to kind of pivot. Okay, I go across. I turn up the hill. Now, I just go right back into it. And I'm going to push down on this bell. Now we're going to do the same thing with the heel edge. The only difference is, instead of pushing my toe down to steer up the hill, I'm on a different edge. I'm going to lift the toe because I'm on that heel edge. That's going to cause the board to twist, have the heel side, side cut, cut into the snow, and carve me up the hill. So let me get spun around and I'll do a couple link traverses on my heel edge. Okay, right 